Hmm. Hi guys, it's your girl Kiel Chemist, and I'm popping on camera. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Uh, if you are in the New England Northeast path of blizzard uh, location, like I am, then I hope you are somewhere safe and warm. I hope that your power remains on as the storm begins to settle in. I am working from home today in my fancy pajamas um, but I'm coming on camera as you can see I have my glass of green detox juice uh, to share a little information I've been posting some pictures on Instagram and I'm getting some questions so I thought I would just make a quick video because I figure if a few people on there are interested then maybe more of you on my uh, YouTube page might also be interested so I am doing a three-day detox starting today I just started this is my breakfast so the detox that I'm doing is the three-day detox on the Hungry for Change uh, TV website. I will put the link below. Um, they have tons of information on healthy eating, change in lifestyle, you know, rationale behind why you should, you know, eat healthier. Um, but this is just a small, small uh, proponent of of what their overall proposal is for uh, lifestyle change. A friend of mine. Uh, who is very health conscious these days, uh, posted on Facebook a few weeks ago about doing the detox. And at the time, I was not mentally prepared, nor did I think I'd have the time to go and grab the items to uh, actually attempt the detox that weekend. But another friend and myself, we also were kind of the same mind that we couldn't do it that weekend. So we decided that we were going to do it another weekend, and we had a few... Uh, delays and things going on but this is the weekend and we have started um, so just to give you a little bit of information about the detox it's uh, meant to kind of of course cleanse um, kind of give you a little kick start if you're trying to get healthy lifestyle change um, it's supposed to help with cravings um, which I could definitely use a little help with some sugar cravings and yes I am looking on my paper here it's also supposed to help um, reset your taste buds so that will be good my taste buds are pretty much all over the place but it'll be nice to actually have something to kind of just refresh and it's good sometimes to kind of do a fast or a detox just to give your body a break from processing so much that you know you're constantly shoving in if you don't eat um, you know a super super healthy diet all the time so I'm doing the three-day detox the three days you eat pretty much the same thing for three days and I'll quickly run through what it is so so far this morning I got up and I made the lemon ginger like water that you have to drink and the purpose of that is a detoxifier ginger is definitely a detoxifier and lemon is very cleansing and it's kind of to help just stimulate your body prepare you for the cleanse and the detoxing get your bowels going and motivate it um, now I am on to the second step in my really cool no you can't have a sip uh, glass that I love uh, this is the super detox green juice um, there is celery in here there is a uh, cucumber I put lots of kale in here it says a hand uh, two leaves I think I added about three of the curly kale um, fresh parsley a half I used a half of a large lemon that I didn't uh, finish using for the water that I made earlier and I use one Granny Smith apple. You can use an apple or a pear, which I think the lemon and the apple help. If you ever had green juice that is just so bitter and so eh, this having that lemon and the apple balance it out, it smells very green. I'll tell you that. And it is obviously very green in color. But um, it actually tastes pleasant because of the balance with the lemon and the apple. So I'm enjoying this right now. I did juice it. It's still very thick um, for a juice. Like, I'm not super, super runny. Um, but yeah, I'm actually enjoying it. Um, it's not making me gag or make me sick. Um, I've made green juice in the past, and it was just too much green, I think. And it just kind of made me ill. But this this juice is actually if you if you juice if you're used to juicing 
um, you will find that this is not an unpleasant juice to drink. If you're not into like juicing and greens and stuff, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be tasting like uh, Kool-Aid, but if you've ever juiced before and you've done green juice, you're probably going to like this one a lot better. Um, and this is just first impressions of this. Um, so after I do the juice, my mid-morning snack option is just sliced carrots, cucumbers, and celery. I'm probably going to do more carrots just because I like carrots. And if I have to do something, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not used to doing so much of this eating snacking on a scheduled basis, but for the detox, I'm going to really stick to it. Um, and then for lunch, there is the option of doing a green salad. They give you a recipe for a sushi salad. Um, and I'll just run through that quickly. So this salad is a mixture of sea vegetables and sprouts. Um, there is some nori, the like thing that you wrap sea, uh, sushi with, that you cut up into the salad. And uh, it's the salad is high in calcium and iodine, and it helps to, again, draw toxins. All of these things that you're drinking are to help flush out your body and draw out toxins. Um, there is a dressing for the salad, so that's that's good because sometimes you just get lemon juice and oil or something if you get that or just sprinkle some lemon juice. But there's a ginger root, tamari or soy sauce, and lemon, which I like all of these things. And then the salad consists of an avocado, which is yay. I mean, that's something that could be filling. It can make a regular salad a lot more filling. So avocado, cucumber, carrots, uh, sprouts, Preferably alfalfa, watercress, or sunflower sprouts. I have sunflower and watercress. I alfalfa. I go back and forth sometimes with my filling on the taste of alfalfa. Um, fresh cilantro and the nori sheet, and then you need to have some toasted sesame seeds. Which I have sesame seeds. I'm going to be toasting those before I uh, assemble my salad. Then afternoon snack consists of activated almonds. For those of you who are into raw foods and uh, raw nuts and that type of thing, you know that activated almonds are just basically, or any type of activated nuts, are the nuts, you soak the nuts in water for a period of time. That helps to release, uh, actually remove any of the protective coatings that most seeds and nuts have na that naturally occur in nature and to help kind of make them more digestible, make the minerals and vitamins and things more readily available to your body. So it's a good idea to soak particularly raw nuts. Uh, what I did learn about almonds uh, is that in the U.S., those that are processed in the U.S., are typically pasteurized even though they're labeled as raw they're still pasteurized which does use some type of heat processing so there's been this debate about whether or not they're truly raw is it fair to label them that way and what impact does the pasteurization have on the raw nuts versus just regular roasted nuts but I just went with what I found in my local store which were labeled raw um, which in my case means not roasted or salted, but I'm sure pasteurized. You can find like imported nuts that are unpasteurized. Of course, I guess then there's the risk factor of uh, bacteria, salmonella, those types of things, which is the reason why nuts are being pasteurized. I don't know if this applies to all nuts, just the discussions I read were strictly about almonds. I don't know about like cashews and all those things, which I have used in the past. but. Please Google that. If you have more information, feel free to post below. I am not an expert. I am just doing a three-day detox, and this just came up. Um, for So that's lunch. I'm sorry, that's the nuts after lunch. For dinner, there is a potassium balanced soup recipe. And this is supposed to restore your acid-base balance in your body uh, and your sodium-potassium balance for your organs and your glands and help everything flow. And that consists of water, zucchini, celery, string beans, parsley, um, tomatoes, cloves of garlic, which I love garlic. And you can use unrefined sea salt or miso paste. I think I have both. I'll figure out which one I'm going to use. 
and then a variety of herbs they provide uh, options for herbs for flavor to enhance the soup and you basically put all that in and bring it to a boil I'm gonna make that later this afternoon just because I didn't want to overcook the veggies and what you're preparing is enough for three days so I just wanna I don't know kinda do it as fresh as possible um, after dinner you do get a dessert option which is a chia seed pudding uh, so chia seeds are these little teeny weeny seeds and like most seeds like flax seeds and um, what other seeds are there that people use well anyway when you soak them of course it's always good to soak your seeds in nuts but when you soak them they produce kind of a gelatinous kind of substance like flax seeds produce a flax seed gel for most naturals you know you at least use that on your hair some people actually eat it as well um, but excuse me Excuse me. Sorry about that. Maya, but the pudding is a, uh, you use it, you make it out of either almond or coconut milk or some kind of nut based milk. Um, the chia seeds, a little bit of raw honey or maple syrup. I didn't have, I thought I had raw honey. I didn't, so I used raw agave nectar. So I hope that doesn't work against me. Um, the chia seeds, of course, in the cinnamon, you mix it together and it forms like a little pudding with the gelatinous uh, formation that the seeds do. So I've already made that pudding so that the flavors can kind of mesh and mix and I added like a little nutmeg and some other stuff too because I like flavor. And that's already in the refrigerator so it should be nice and set up by time for me to eat dinner. And then after dinner you're supposed to have some type of calming tea. They recommend chamomile or nettle tea or dandelion root or licorice root I may actually do a combination of chamomile and valerian which is still like a natural herb just because I valerian helps me to sleep and since I'm not eating my normal diet or heavy meal I don't want to like wake up in the middle of the night starving to death I want to just rest peacefully <laughs> so I'm gonna kinda take that kinda knock myself out so um yeah guys um feel free like I said to post below I'll probably um trying to decide what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna pop back on and show you everything or if I'm just gonna um maybe come back tomorrow and tell you about how day one was or how I'm feeling but yeah this uh I've had a few friends to do it they said that they've lost some weight and just felt better uh, just got a really good cleanse out of it so I'm curious to see how it's gonna work out for me but I'll put all the links below I'll put the link to the ac overall website I'll put the link to the three-day detox information the direct link and I also put the direct link to the shopping guide for um, the you know items you need to purchase I will say make sure that you compare the shopping list to the recipes because I did find that there was not cilantro on my shopping list but there is cilantro in a dish that you uh, make the salad I think so yeah uh, if you're interested in trying it you know let me know if you do alright guys bye